Is Putin going to win the war? This question has been reverberating around the globe, as the world watches the escalating conflict between Russia and Ukraine. As we delve into this complex issue, it's crucial to not oversimplify the narrative. The outcome of this conflict is not merely a matter of military might, it's a tangled web of historical tensions, geopolitical strategies and global reactions. It's about understanding the motivations, the stakes, and the potential for resolution. So, why is it essential to comprehend these variables? Because it's not just about a war, it's about the future of international relations and global peace. Let's begin by understanding the origins of the conflict and how it has evolved over time. The roots of the Russia-Ukraine conflict run deep, with historical, political and cultural factors playing significant roles. To fully comprehend the current dynamics, one must journey back into the annals of history. The Russia-Ukraine relationship is a tapestry, woven with threads of shared history and divergent aspirations. Both nations trace their origins to the Kievan Rus, a medieval state that existed a thousand years ago, which is considered the cultural cradle of Eastern Slavic civilizations. However, the paths of the two countries diverged over time, marked by periods of unity and discord. The 20th century brought significant changes. Ukraine after a brief period of independence following World War I, was incorporated into the Soviet Union. The Soviet era was a time of significant tension between Russia and Ukraine, marked by forced collectivization, the devastating Holodomor famine, and the repression of Ukrainian culture and language. The dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked a turning point. Ukraine declared its independence, and a new chapter in its history began. However, the ties with Russia remained, manifested in economic dependencies, shared infrastructure and a sizable Russian-speaking population in Ukraine. The seeds of the current conflict were arguably sown in the Orange Revolution of 2004, and further fertilized in the Euromaidan protests of 2013 and 2014. These movements signaled Ukraine's shift towards a pro-European orientation, a pivot that was viewed with deep suspicion and hostility by Russia. This brings us to the annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014, a move that sent shockwaves through the international community and marked the beginning of the ongoing conflict. The war in eastern Ukraine where pro-Russian separatists clashed with Ukrainian forces further escalated the situation. And now we find ourselves in a world where the specter of war looms large over the European continent. A complex web of historical grievances, cultural clashes and geopolitical ambitions has culminated in a crisis that has profound implications for not just Russia and Ukraine, but the entire world. Now that we've established the historical background, let's delve into the current dynamics of the war. The war between Russia and Ukraine is not just a battle of military forces, it's a complex web of geopolitical strategies, economic pressures, and international relations. Let's take a closer look at the current dynamics of this conflict. On one side we have Russia, a global superpower known for its military might, employing aggressive strategies. They've even conducted tests of intercontinental ballistic missiles. On the other hand we have Ukraine, the underdog, bravely resisting the invasion and calling for international support. The world has seen Russia's tactics in play, from their occupation of Kherson to their alleged use of detention centers for torture and abuse, aimed at extinguishing Ukrainian identity. These actions have been met with international condemnation and accusations of war crimes. Meanwhile, Ukraine is not standing down. Their leadership believes that more victories on the battlefield are necessary for real peace talks. They are urging for military aid, including tanks, planes and artillery, believing it will not only help them win the war, but also enhance Western security. Interlaced with these military maneuvers are economic pressures. The US, European Union, United Kingdom and Canada have imposed sanctions on Russia, targeting their president and other officials. These sanctions aim to apply economic penalties on Russia, including asset freezes, debt and equity restrictions, and technology access limitations. There are also calls to shut Russia out of the SWIFT financial messaging system, a move that could significantly impact the country's economy. China, another significant player in global politics, is expressing concerns about the conflict spiraling out of control. They have not condemned Russia, and their support for Moscow appears to be strengthening. However, warnings have been issued against China's involvement in the war, stating that supplying lethal weapons to Russia could have unpredictable consequences for their economy. The outcome of the war is not only dependent on the military strength of both nations, but also on the global response to the conflict. As we continue to monitor the situation, it's clear that the stakes are high. 
not just for Russia and Ukraine, but for the entire world. The world has not remained silent about the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Governments, international organizations and individuals have voiced their concerns and taken action. The response to the conflict has been both vocal and tangible. In the face of Russia's aggression, the United States, European Union, United Kingdom and Canada have unleashed a series of economic penalties. These sanctions, marking a significant escalation in the global response, target key figures including Russian President Vladimir Putin and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The measures range from travel bans to asset freezes, debt and equity restrictions, and limitations on technology access. The United States has even extended the sanctions to members of Russia's National Security Council. However, the economic battlefield extends beyond these figures. The Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline has also been targeted, and there have been calls to exclude Russia from the SWIFT financial messaging system, potentially isolating it from the global economy. NATO, on the other hand, has activated its response force, a clear signal of its stance on Russia's invasion. Meanwhile, additional sanctions against Putin and Lavrov have been announced by the EU, UK and Canada, further tightening the economic noose. But the global response isn't limited to the Western world. In the East, China, a major global power, has expressed its concerns about the conflict spiraling out of control. While the country has maintained a degree of neutrality, it has yet to condemn Russia's actions. Amidst these international dynamics, the beleaguered Ukraine has not been left to fend for itself. Military aid including tanks, planes and artillery, have been provided to help Ukraine gain an edge in the war and enhance Western security. The global response has undoubtedly influenced the course of the war, but what does this mean for the central question? Is Putin going to win the war? Is Putin going to win the war? As we've seen the answer is far from straightforward. In unraveling this central question, we must first acknowledge the complexities of the current war dynamics. The Russian forces strategy, as observed in Kherson, reveals a chilling blueprint of occupation and suppression. Yet, the Ukrainian resistance is fierce, and the spirit of the nation remains unbroken, as evidenced by their leaders' relentless calls for greater international support. We've also examined the global response to this conflict. The United States, European Union, United Kingdom and Canada have imposed significant economic sanctions on Russia, targeting key figures including Putin himself. These sanctions, aimed at crippling Russia's economy, could potentially influence the outcome of the conflict. However, the effectiveness of these measures is still under scrutiny. On the other hand, the international community's reluctance to cut Russia off from the swift financial messaging system points to the delicate balance of global politics. While there's a strong desire to support Ukraine, there's also a fear of further escalating the situation. Then, there's China's position. As a global powerhouse, China's actions could tip the scale of the conflict. While it expresses concerns about the conflict spiraling out of control, it has yet to condemn Russia's actions. This ambiguous stance leaves room for speculation about how China could potentially influence the war's trajectory. At the end of the day, the question of whether Putin will win the war is not just about military might. It's about economic resilience in the face of sanctions. It's about international alliances and global politics. And it's about the indomitable spirit of the Ukrainian people. While the future of the Russia-Ukraine conflict remains uncertain, one thing is clear. The world is watching and the outcome will have far-reaching implications. As we've navigated through the complexities of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, we've seen that the question, is Putin going to win the war, is not easily answered. We've delved into the historical context, revealing the deep-seated tensions and long-standing disputes between Russia and Ukraine. We've scrutinized the current dynamics of the war, the strategies employed, the role of leadership, and the toll it's taking on both nations. The global response has been a tapestry of condemnation, sanctions and calls for peace, with countries around the world taking a stand against the aggression. Yet, the war continues, with an increasing cost to human life and global stability. As we revisited the central question we saw that many variables could tilt the scales in either direction. The outcome is influenced by a multitude of factors, from the resilience and determination of the Ukrainian people and their armed forces, to the international community's ongoing response and the economic and political pressure faced by Russia. And finally, we have to consider the potential outcomes. A military victory for Putin might not translate into a strategic or political win. The cost of war, both in terms of human life and international relations, 
could outweigh any perceived gains. The world will continue to watch and react as the conflict unfolds, only time will truly tell if Putin is going to win the war.